Hey guys, welcome to Our Mixed Media Moods, the monthly collaboration between Dee Dee Katrin and myself, where we take a mood board and then make projects based on that mood board. So this is May's. Um, Dee Dee made this one with these lovely turquoise colors and the blacks and whites. So good. So I'm starting out in my 6x9 Joggles disc bound black art journal. And um, my plan for this art journal is that I want um, the pages to be like different sizes. So I'm going to take one of these 6x9 pages and just cut it down um, until I'm kind of happy with the size of it. And then I'm going to take some of the Tim Holtz tissue wrap. I think this one's called Postel. I think that's the one. And I'm looking for a section that doesn't have too, too much going on. Um, but I do want some bolder areas. Um, like those numbers down there at the bottom. Um, so I'm just going to rip it until I'm happy with the way it looks. I want it to be like... Um, a circular kind of situation in the center of the page and my one beef with this is that it doesn't tear nicely <laughs> so I'm gonna apply that with some collage page matte and um, like I said I'm just gonna put it in the middle of my page but I'm gonna scooch it up a little bit and so it has a little bit of that texture and so that it fits completely on the page and I'm just gonna go over the top a layer of collage page over the top as well. Really make sure those um, creases are glued down. And then once that's dry, I'm going to take some Blick Gesso, which is a heavier kind of gesso, and I'm going to go over the whole thing. Um, I want to kind of dull down the, the bold black writing in the background, but then I realized I wanted more of the black around my edges, so I'm just taking a wet paper towel and wiping that gesso away from the edges. Um, but so that it's not so harsh, I'm going to try to um, kind of fade it out a little bit, but I, I still want to keep a lot of that black edge around the whole thing. And then I'm going to take a palette knife with the same gesso and just kind of scrape it around on my page. Um, for this, I really just want to get some thicker areas so that I can dry it and it gets a little bubbly when you dry it with the heat tool. Um, so in the mood board, there are these lovely turquoise tones in the middle um, bottom photo, especially. I love that light and dark turquoise color. So that's what I'm going to try to go for in my background. This is some Dina Wakely acrylic and turquoise. I'm just going to add a little bit of that and a ton of water. And then I'm going to take my Delphinium Turquoise Lindy Stamp Gang, Gang Spray and just use the nozzle to add a couple dots here and there while my Dina Wakely Turquoise is still wet so it mixes together a little bit. And then I'm going to dry it mostly, but there's still some puddles going on. I'm going to add a little bit more of the Lindy's just to get a little bit more of that kind of shimmery, darker blue tone. I'm going to dry that completely and then I'm going to get out my muted turquoise, my Liquitex soft body acrylic. And I'm going to add that with a bunch of water as well. The um, photo of the water really has this delightful dark turquoise color that I was trying to capture. So in the lower left hand corner there's that clock there and I was going to go quite literal with a clock but instead I'm just taking inspiration from the round shape. I have this um, it's like a star chart kind of thing. It's got like um, astrological constellations and stuff like that. And um, I just got it, so I wanted to use it. That's by Viva Las Vegas Stamps. And then I just stamped that with some gray archival ink. I'm going to take a little strip of vintage ledger paper, apply that with my collage page mat, and I'm being careful um, not to kind of like smear the background into the... Um, uh, ledger paper because the Lindy's is water reactive and I don't want any of that turquoise to get on the tan of my ledger paper. So then I'm just going to take a palette knife and some of that same Blick Gesso and I'm going to hold my palette knife kind of parallel to my page and just scrape it on so it kind of obscures some of the edges of the ledger paper and then I'm going to bring some up of uh, some of that up in the top as well. So the middle photo at the bottom has these boats sitting there so I have this sailboat stamp by Viva Las Vegas Stamps. Viva Las Vegas Stamps, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just going to stamp that out on regular cardstock. And then I'm going to stamp it on my page as well so I get some of those details there. 
but my gesso wasn't quite dry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut out the big sailboat from the stamp there and I'm gonna cut around the whole thing and then I'm gonna use a craft knife to kind of cut out some of the middle sections so that you could see through it. And I'm just gonna use my palette knife to cut out, my palette knife, my um, X-Acto knife to cut out the big sections and then I can clean everything up with my scissors once I have a hole in there and I can get my scissors in there. So that's what it looks like once it's all cut out. And um, never mind that wing there. I was trying to make that work. <laughs> so I'm taking this sentiment by Viva Las Vegas Stamps. It says, I'm not afraid of storms for I'm learning to sail my ship. And I'm going to stamp that on a piece of cardstock for my main sentiment. And then I'm also going to stamp it around my page in black ink. So it looks like it's kind of like fading in from the black around the edges. I'm going to cut the cardstock cardstock into strips so I can apply it to my page using some multimedia map and I'm just gonna put that right below my sailboat still trying to make this wing work <laughs> it does not make it I'm gonna glue down my sailboat as well and then I have this constellation stamp I'm gonna stamp all over because um, it kind of looked like um, night sky up there. It's not really what I was going for, but that's what it ended up looking like. And that is it for my page. Be sure to check out Dee Dee's project. Um, you can join us on Facebook, um, make a project and show us there. You can tag us on Instagram. Um, we're at Our Mixed Media Moods, or you can hashtag us there, hashtag Our Mixed Media Moods. Um, or you can make a... a video using the mood board we love that sort of thing and tag us and yeah so thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys soon bye bye guys